Hi, this is Jim. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. When I bought this bike, one of the things I liked about it was that it could do car play. One of the things that annoyed me about it was the only way it would do car play is if I had a if I had a device like a helmet or earbuds or something connected to it that have a microphone. It, and I get it. Apple was like, well, number one, Android does not work on these infotainment centers, period. It will not work on the infotainment control unit, I think is what they're calling it now. Um, and Apple, the only way they agreed to put CarPlay on this was if they interlocked it with having to have a microphone to talk to the bike so that you could you could use Siri to control CarPlay versus having to manipulate buttons on the controls. I get that, it's all a liability issue. I want to use CarPlay and I want to use CarPlay when I'm not wearing my full helmet with the communication system in it. I got a part delivered a couple of days ago and uh, I've been looking forward to it, been waiting on it. I'll show the unboxing video right here so you can see what I undid and then I'm going to talk to you about it. This is what comes in the packaging. There's just this one sheet of paper tells you who it is. There's a there's a QR code there so you can pull up the video that shows you how to install this device and then the device itself. It's extremely easy to install. I'm going to show you here on this channel as well. I found a guy, Tim Henry, and he owns Tim's Stereo Systems. Look him up on Facebook. He does not have a website yet, but look him up on Facebook. He installs a lot of stuff for Sounds, S-O-U-N-D-Z, uh, which is a stereo manufacturer in the biking industry. Uh, he is an avid rider, which is important to me. If I'm doing business with someone about stuff to go on a motorcycle, I want to make sure they actually ride because they're going to know what I'm experiencing while I'm and what I'm trying to fix necessarily. But I talked to Tim. He's come up with this device. Now, a lot of there are a lot of places out there that have come up with bypasses for this same solution. I'd say probably 90% of them involve using your connector where you charge your phone. And that means you're either losing the ability to charge your phone or you're going to have to get a splitter plug that into one side of it and plug your phone into the other side and hope that the splitter works and allows your phone to charge while it also keeps a Bluetooth transmitter basically active. Because that's what I believe this is. What Tim figured out was there is an unused port underneath this seat that comes wired from the factory. Found out from Harley Davidson that port is for heated seats. And so if you buy a heated seat, you can just plug it, play it, and it's done. Well, good news for me is I live in the South. I don't need a damn heated seat. So I can use that port for this and wire it up permanently. So I thought I'd show you the installation, show you how to connect it to the bike, and show you how it makes everything work. So all I got to do is take this seat off. That requires 27 bit and you can just unscrew this screw and the seat will pop right off. That's what you're looking for right there. You unplug this, you plug in this, and then I'm going to zip tie this guy about right there, I think. That's it. That's the whole install. Zip tie it, clean it up, make it look good. It is a new bike, by the way. Or, you know, you should clean it up. Once you've done that, and I'll show you all this in secondary video that I'm going to take, B-roll shots that I'll take, you're going to power the bike on. Now, I started mine all the way. You could probably do it from just turning it to accessory mode and flicking it forward, holding that tripometer button for 10 seconds. Put it in accessory mode, you can probably do the same thing. Uh, I turned mine on just because I wanted to hear it. By the way, the other thing I did this past weekend was put some mufflers on there so she sounds way different 
Might get a recording for you. Don't know yet. So you go here, you click the what I'll call the hamburger button, and I will show all this in video. You click that to pull up your main menu. Go over to settings. Under device manager, you're going to add a new device. And what you're going to see is this thing is going to come up. Comes up, I believe, is RC0 something. Um, you'll see it in the screen when I, when I pull it up and show it to you. But you add that device. And once it pairs with this device, CarPlay works. And that's all you got to do to get CarPlay to work on these motorcycles. I'll, like I said, I will show you all of that kind of in the in the B-roll footage that you're looking at through here, throughout this. A couple things, of, I mean, this is, to me, this is a very clean solution. It, it's, 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 a, it's a bypass that I'm willing to put on the bike. All you're doing with this thing down here is pulling power from the bike to turn on a Bluetooth transmitter that you can then tell the bike to recognize as your headset. There are a couple things I haven't tried yet. Because I do wear a full with a communication system in it from time to time, I still want the ability to connect my full to the bike as the rider. Now when you pair devices on this motorcycle, you can assign the role to it, whether it's a rider or a passenger. What I haven't figured out yet is whether or not assigning it as a passenger will give me the same results. Meaning, I can still connect my helmet as the rider when I'm riding it and still have this active and working car play. Don't know yet, but I will let you know by the end of this video. I will know by the time I produce this video. So I'll write up here whether it worked or didn't work. I mean, that, that's the best I can do for you. But this is, this is the best solution that I found. Um, there are some other places out there where you can put something together yourself or try to put something together yourself. There's some YouTube videos out there showing you how to do it. And you do still plug it into the same location under here. Um, I'm an electrical guy. I really am. I, I, I've done electronics my whole life, and I just didn't want to fool with it. Why? When I can call a dude or send him a message through Facebook and say, hey, I need this part, and he ships it out to me right after I pay him. So I, I don't know why would I go through the time of sourcing all the parts, figuring out how to wire it up myself, and then putting it in here. Seems like a lot of effort for very little reward. So I just bought it from him. But that's it. I'm going to put the seat back on and that'll button the bike up. And she is, well, she's had everything done to her that I'm wanting to do to her for the, at least in the immediate time frame. I wanted my car play to work and I wanted it to sound like a Harley. And I've accomplished that. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, click like. There's going to be a lot of content about this bike coming out over the next several months. So come back to the channel. Click the notification bell, subscribe, like, share it with your friends. Always ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>